So you know how everybody has this like Spotify wrapped, Apple Music wrapped, whatever, like from your year? I kind of want to do that for my channel and uh, talk about some of the fun things that happened this year, including recipes and videos. So uh, let's talk about 2022 and everything that happened with man-made mead. So I've previously done videos like this, specifically most years I do like a, uh, my favorite recipes I made in 2021 or 2020 or whatever it is. I've done videos like that. I'm gonna incorporate that into this. Um, and then I've also never, well, I've never really done a video just kind of um, wrapping up the year. And I kind of want to do that. So let's first talk about my favorite recipes from 2022. Now the funny thing about this list as I was compiling it is um, two of them are unreleased videos. So I'm gonna talk about them and uh, I'll, I'll probably put the recipes down below, but you won't see the video for a little bit at least. So let's talk about them. Um, going in reverse order, starting with number five, my fifth favorite mead recipe from this year was kind of surprising. It was a pineapple Acer Glen with um, rum oak. And it was not one that I like recorded on the channel. I just kind of did it separately brewing on my own, shocker. Um, and it was pretty dang good. And I'll say this, all these like recipes are gonna be in the description. So if you wanna see them, check it down, check it out down there. So that one's super good, number five. Number four, unreleased video. The video won't be released till the summer or closer to summer, I'll say. It's a pina colada mead recipe. I went and did this huge video on it and I just don't know that it's proper right now to go out in December. So it'll go out closer to summer. I'll go ahead and put the recipe, recipe below. Uh, number three, my strawberry vanilla mead. This is a actual video I've done. <laughs> and uh, super great recipe, super crushable, about 6%. It's got a little bit of a process to it to get a proper strawberry flavor out of it, but it's super good and it's nice. Number two, another unreleased video, is a blueberry and cinnamon mead recipe. Um, that video will be out probably pretty soon if it's not out as you're watching this. Um, it's a recipe my friend Jake and I have been working on for a long time and it's finished and it's freaking amazing. So it's pretty good. And number one, it's gonna wrap into a couple other things in that um, this recipe has been a long-term project and I finally finished it my opinion. That is my apple and cinnamon mead recipe. I got it exactly where I want it. I think it is perfect as it stands. So that's my number one. I burned through probably 20 gallons of that this year, giving it to people. So it's pretty good. So those are my top five mead recipes. I do want to talk about my, I'm going to say top five uh, videos, but really they're in no particular order. Um, I make a lot of content, obviously, and uh, some videos are more fun than others. Not to say that they aren't all good. I think they're all good videos, but some are just more fun because they have community aspects and stuff. So some of my favorites, again, no particular order. Um, I, don't know, I encourage you to go watch these because I, I love these ones particularly. So starting with um, my most expensive mead ever, I used Manuka honey and brewed basically a gallon. Well, it was a half gallon of mead, third of a gallon of mead and um, pretty dang expensive. It's a fun video though. Um, I recommend you go find it. I'll put it down in the description, of course. The, there, the next one is my 25 year old mead. This has been a big project for me. I, I wanted to make a mead that I could have a bottle of every year um, for my anniversary, my wife. So I made this ginormous batch of mead, um, had a pretty tragic thing happen in the middle of it. I don't want to spoil because if you haven't seen it, it's a it's a good fun video, fun, sad, lots of things. Anyways, it was a uh, one of my most memorable videos to say the least. Uh, the Discord Mead series is a fun series I like to do, and particularly this year I had two big ones that I really enjoyed um, that were just challenges, but also ended up being pretty good. They were the Lactomel, which is a milk-based mead. There's a video for it and a Moscow Mule Mead, which is one that I plan on making a ton of because it is freaking killer. So those are both really fun videos. I just published this one recently. There is this, uh, well, I found all of these honey substitutes and I wanted to put them to the test. So I thought of a, try to find a creative way to do this. So I, I have a video um, called the bees are gone, now what? And uh, 
Essentially, that video is all about using fake honey to make mead. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's it's a pretty fun one. Uh, hired a voice actor, did a lot of editing, had a bunch of guys here. It was just awesome. A very, very fun video. And my most favorite, definitely most favorite, is Squid Game. I made a whole Squid Game series, well I say series, one video where I challenged eight mead makers to make a um, mead recipe that I told them with a specific challenge. Each one had a different challenge and it was just, it's quite the event because it was um, obviously difficult for some, more difficult for some. Also, it's just a different kind of video and it was a lot of fun. I really wanna do it again. It did not go very well in the view world, which is a bummer because I spent a lot of time on it, but it was still a lot of fun. And that that is what I care about right there. So I kind of, that's a great segue into like, am I still having fun with YouTube? Now like five, uh, almost five and a half years deep into making YouTube videos, I went from two or three a week, like for four years to basically now oh, one a week for the past nine months or so. And um, I definitely have enjoyed the workload a little more since I can step back and not have to put out as much content. It's allowed me to focus in and it's just less stress. I mean, that's kind of what's important here. I'm, I feel less stressed, get to have more fun with it. And I still struggle and I think everybody does. Um, when you put so much time and effort and money into something, you automatically assign, well, you, you want it to be successful. And success comes in many different forms. And um, I like I wanna say that me having fun is the only joy that I need to get out of videos, but I'd be lying to you. I'm still a person and um, it's, I enjoy seeing videos be successful in views and likes and stuff like that because when I commit 72 to 100 hours into a video, I'm sure hoping that people are gonna watch that video. And uh, I hope that the, the watch time is at least double the time that I put into the video. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. And um, it can be really disheartening. I, again, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that there are moments when I'm uh, doing YouTube stuff that I just wanna quit and be done because I'm investing so much time and it feels like it's going nowhere. So I, I've been persistent enough to push through those frustrations, but I have a feeling that that's gonna jump up and creep up, up to me pretty quick and I'll be ready to be done, especially when things, when I have other things to focus on in life. Right now, I've, I mean, I'm married, I don't have any kids. I've got a full-time job. My job is gonna change a bunch in the future. It's gonna be a little more labor intensive and I'm hopeful to still be able to do videos and, and things, but we'll kind of see how it is. So I'm still having fun and I'm trying, trying to turn my brain off from the views. I, I hate to say this, but I cannot let my brain, I, I, I have to post videos with the assumption or the just the understanding that 10 views is gonna be enough. And it's really hard to, honestly really hard to just accept that. Especially because having a, a fan base of 44,000 people and not pulling more than a thousand views on a video, it's just not a very good ratio. So again, disheartening, pushing through it, and uh, I'm still having fun. We'll see how much longer I wanna continue to do this though. That kind of takes me to support. Um, <laughs> one thing that's uh, really helpful is Patreon and um, YouTube memberships. And those things are ways for you to actually pour into the channel, even if it's two bucks a month to just continue to help the channel grow. YouTube's not lucrative, is that the right word? I think so. It's not a great source of income. Like I said, when you don't pull a lot of views on a video, you get a thousand views, you're only making seven bucks, eight bucks, and that video might have cost you 80 bucks to do, not including the time and the efforts. And some of you are, look, are saying, well, I make my mead and I don't get any money from it. You know, I don't get any anything. And that's fair, you know, that's that's true. You're, you're investing money and time. It's different with YouTube because you actually are like, there's an expectation to have a good product and the good product has to have a backing and you can be the backing. So one thing, I'm just gonna, I I'll, I'll guess I'll say this with as nicely as I can. You can't complain about me taking a sponsorship or an ad or something for my channel and then not turn around and like want to support. 
And what I mean by that is you can't be mad. Like if you don't support me at all, you can't be mad at me taking a, an ad to help support the videos or to um, help me pay for the content because it's expensive. So I get kind of tired of that. I think people get turned off and angry about me taking an ad or whatever. I think I'm selling out. It's just how this is. This costs money. We got to keep the channel running. So I am. I uh, found a video the other day that was um, kind of a wrap up. I can say a wrap up. It was like a goals video for 2022 and uh, kind of kind of highlighted some things I wanted to hit. So a few of them were become BJC certified. No, I'm not BJC certified. BJCP, excuse me, certified. Um, still a goal in the future. I don't know that it matters all that much. Uh, I like I already host alongside um, doing the most in Faywood Mead, um, one of the best mead competitions out there. I don't have to be BJC certified, CP certified for that. I, I have a feeling that um, I have enough experience as it is. Yes, having that title is nice. It's not the end of the world because uh, I feel pretty comfortable with my skills as it is. I'll shoot for it eventually, but I'm not, pre I'm not pressed to do it. Uh, I had one for mastering 10 recipes. I don't know if I mastered them. I probably have gotten five or six now that are, are pretty dang good. So I might have 12 in total that I'm like, will repeat over and over again um, without changing anything. So eventually I'd like to have like a, you know, 25, 30 that are just mastered, but we'll see. And uh, I had a goal for 50K subs in 2022. Um, didn't hit that, but that's again, not the end of the world. Subs should not mean everything. And I keep reminding myself of that. It's hard to accept because so much of this world is about you and the response you give. And uh, that response could come in likes or subscribing. Numbers mean a lot in YouTube. It's just hard to let that go sometimes. So. I want you to know that if you have been here with me through 2022 and you've been supporting the channel in whatever regard, I really appreciate you and um, the time and effort you've put into watching my content. Um, I think 2023 is gonna be a fantastic year. And uh, again, life might change, who knows, but I am hopeful to be around as long as I can. And in the meantime, continue to watch the channel, go find some other mead content that is out there. Um, it's kind of a dry spell right now, just to be, honest with you um there's not the mead youtube sphere is kind of dying we'll see if if some people come in through 2023 and help revive it some but who knows homebrewing on youtube is also just kind of dying as is views are down people are, are are not as interested in making their own beverages anymore and that's okay you know pandemic really hit that world pretty hard it had to end sometime i hope this has not been a debbie downer it's supposed to be kind of a I don't know, I, I got tell all, <laughs> if anything, about 2022. I hope you have a fantastic uh, beginning of the year. I don't know when this is going out. It might go out the beginning of 2023, but 2022, great year. I hope you had a great year with it too. Uh, go support the channel, join the Discord. That's a way to chat with uh, me and other people that are brewing a lot as well. And I'll see you in the future. Right.